what's up everybody welcome back to the channel this is episode one of the 09 lancer build the first uh two videos the, the last two videos that you saw those are more like uh prologue videos just like me making preparations but today is actually the day that i'm gonna start modifying and doing some stuff to the 09 um i wake up this morning and see i got an email more things will be in today so i'm gonna try to get as much done as i can today um yeah i'm excited so let's get this cracking all right guys i didn't even know it was freaking raining i knew it was gloomy but it's raining so what i did was that's why i put the camera down so i had to get this stuff in i didn't want to get it wet now the sucky part is i can't even work with the garage door open so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open it because the wind is actually when i opened it is blowing into the the garage so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open the garage for a quick second and give you all a quick look on how that engine looks on the o9 and i'm going to have to close the garage all right guys look at this shit. this is fucking pitiful this is pitiful this is the first and last time <laughs> I wouldn't even say first and last time, I showed you all this before in earlier videos. But I gotta get this thing cleaned up. I'm not even gonna worry about this intake right here because my intake will be here today, so I'm not gonna worry about that. But I'm gonna, uh, oh, my alternator's down there, so I don't have to worry about covering that up. So the only thing I'm gonna be covering up is this math sensor, I don't wanna get that wet. And once I get all of the plastic back on, it'll be easier for me to, to hit it with the water hose. And that's what I like about this car, because everything is covered, don't worry about the fuse box. I, that's gonna get covered too. But that's what I like about this car. Everything is covered up, so you can kinda go ape shit. So let's get this boy cleaned out. Dude, my trunk is hella dirty. I, I'm gonna clean this out too while I'm back here. But um, I bought a 75 foot hose. I don't know, where the hell I put the gun? The gun is in here somewhere. It's not in there, it's not in there. What the hell did I do with the gun? I know it's in here, cause I never took it out the car, so it's probably buried under all of this junk. But I had to close the garage door because as soon as I, right, like literally in the middle of that video, all that wind started blowing in and all that water started coming in. So what I'm probably gonna have to do is uh, is open it up real quick and hit it with the water hose, and then uh, yeah, let's take it from there. All right, guys, you see that's grime and shit all back here. I gotta get all that out. It's like that on the other side too. I gotta get all that out of there. Oh my God, people that don't know how to take care of their cars and keep them clean, God damn. All right, focus, damn it. This camera, I gotta get a new camera. But this is the stuff I'm using, this foamy uh, engine cleaner. Um, I've already did, let me get my flashlight. I've already did, you know, soak the damn thing. I had all my electrical components covered up. So I just went ape shit. Like I said, this intake, I'm not worried about that because my new intake is coming in today. So I just went on and just soaked the shit out of it. Now I'm supposed to let it sit for 15 minutes, then I'm gonna uh, wash it off. But I'll probably do another coat because this this engine bay was terrible. You, this shit is powerful too. It's already starting to break down all the dirt. That was that was black right there. So this is some powerful shit. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit, and uh, I'm going to probably hit it with another coat, and then I'm gonna rinse it off. And see how this boy look. All right, guys, update. Dude, I went through a whole can of that engine cleaner. This, this was worse than my OZ. This is retarded because it was like it wasn't even breaking down the stuff until I got through with the first can. This is, man, I don't understand how the hell people let their engine bays get like that, dude. Holy shit. I went through a whole can. I got two cans of that stuff. I went through a whole can already, and I got a little under a half of the second can. But it's definitely doing the job now that I put all that shit on it. But yeah, I'm gonna let this sit for another 10 minutes because I, I literally just sprayed it. So I'm gonna let this sit for another 10 minutes before I rinse it off. This shit's already starting to look better. So I had to put the water hose on uh, shower mode you don't want to put too much pressure on it and run the risk of damaging anything so it's on shower mode so let me hit this oh 
holy shit that is a big ass difference so what I'm gonna do I gotta get this intake off because my new intake is coming but this is a big ass difference holy shit custom paint yeah I'm happy with this all right guys since I can't turn the car on I had to make some space back here so I could fit because I'm also gonna be putting the Evo X wing on. I'm, I'm gonna mount this. I gotta go in the house and get the wing itself. I already got the mount plates in the car. So let's get it cracking. Dude, I straight up forgot this shit was on here. Damn. I'm glad I bought that heat gun. So I'm gonna use the heat gun to get this crap taken off of here. All right, guys, I got the Evo wing mounted. It's not fully secure, but it is secure. I'm gonna tighten it up probably tomorrow because I gotta get that front bumper off because I got some stuff coming in for that, so. Whew, this was a pain in the ass. I had to get all that glue that was under here. I severely scratched the paint under here, but it's not that big a deal because you you're not gonna be able to see it anyway. So, yeah, got the Evo wing mounted. It looks way better than that stock BS. So. Um, I can't turn on the car to put it out in the light because the engine is still drying from when I washed it earlier So yeah, other than that man, this thing is coming along nicely. There's a dent down here I'm about to try to knock that out So I'm gonna use the heat gun and heat it up and get under there and hit it with a mallet and pop it out see if that works All right guys update I just did the scariest shit ever which was take this front bumper off. This was the scariest shit I have ever done because of these clamps right here so you kind of had to pull on it you had to kind of like pull the bumper down and towards you and it was the scariest shit ever I thought I was gonna break it but I got that off because I got the license plate relocator coming in and I gotta get this black uh, I'm gonna get this uh, blacked out and I gotta get that license plate off of there but yeah Dude, this is so hard when you're doing it by yourself, but it's fun. But I finally got this bumper off. So let's get this boy prepped for paint. All right, guys, I gotta get this thing a quick wash down. This, I didn't realize how dirty that car was, holy hell. But once I get everything squared away, then I'm gonna get it, the whole car washed. Right now, I'm just doing one thing at a time. I covered up all the electric components that's in the bumper. That clamp was a pain in the ass to get off. But I got it. So let's go ahead and get this thing clean. Oh, yeah, this is my fender roller. <laughs> yeah, buddy. I needed one of these. I, I'm going to do my fenders the right way on the OZ Lancer. And I gotta, I'm gonna roll them anyway on the 09 because I'm getting new wheels for that anyway. So yes, I'm gonna get this out the box. Well, I'm not gonna take it out the box right now. I'm gonna put that shit together tonight. But let's move on to the next package. I had to strategically place the camera because <laughs> info is all on that. Now, what do we have in this package? All right, my license plate relocator. Because if you look, at this bumper this wouldn't come out so and plus I'm gonna be painting this whole middle section oh god the whole middle section like all this chrome I'm gonna black that out so I, I gotta take that out this is just a regular Phillips I'm gonna take that out and uh, this is the license plate relocator that's that uh what else we got in here I don't know what this is this, oh, I can't show that. I can see, I can see it already. Yeah, those are uh, stickers that uh, I can't show on YouTube. <laughs> and these are the mud flaps. I got some more, some Rally Armor mud flaps for the 09. All right, guys, here it is. Get all this shit out of here. This is the Takeda.
This is this got to be the filter. Yeah, that's the filter. That's the filter. These are vacuum holes. Oh, I came with. Oh, that's dope. Even though there's one on the car already, but shit, you never can have too many. What is this? Oh, these are the clamps and yeah, the holes. This is the heat shield. That's the actual intake itself. I'm gonna put the camera down so I could so I could uh show you all what all this stuff looks like. All right, guys, this is a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna put everything together and then I'm gonna show you all what it is. This is a lot. I wasn't expecting this. So I'm gonna just go ahead and get all of this stuff put together. All right, everybody, this is everything from the fender roller to the mud flaps, the Takeda intake system, license plate relocator, and the antenna. My main concern tomorrow is to get the Takeda put on so I can at least be able to move the car because I'm going to let it dry overnight because I'm not sure what's all wet on it, so I'm going to let it dry, uh, dry overnight. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to focus on getting the Takeda put on tomorrow and uh, I'm gonna try my best to black out this this grill tomorrow. I, I hate that shit, so I gotta clean it up. You can see where the license plate, there's license plate residue. So I gotta, excuse me, I gotta clean that off. So yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. I will see y'all tomorrow for the install, deuces.